In this video series, we're going to go through how to set up a PHBB form. Now, the first thing you want to do is go to your cPanel, find Fantastico, click on that, and then go in until you find PHPBB2, usually. Click on that. Now, here's where you fill in your information and right now we have no current installation so you click a new installation here and then it asks you to fill in what you want on here so first of all the installation location and here will be your domain name and here you can put in an optional folder name in this case we're just going to call it phpbb for our example but if you're going to put it in a folder you should make it keyword rich so that the search engines pick it up easier. You also can put it right in your main directory. You don't have to use a folder that's completely optional. Down here you give your admin access. So you give it a username and a password. Then you give it a name. Again, this should be a keyword rich name, which this is not in this case, but you should do that. And then you also have a short description on your form, and you can put that here. Again, you should use keywords in here that describe your form. Your email address here that you will receive admin notifications to, and the language. Now click Install PHPBB2. It's just warning you that it's going to create a database and it's going to install it in that directory that you chose. So finish installation. And there it is. So it's told you the location of your config file and it's created a database for you. And then down here you can see your bulletin board by clicking here. Let's just See, so right now it doesn't really look like anything because we haven't done anything to it yet. And then this is your admin here where you go to administer your form. When you first sign in, this is what you'll see. This is your main control panel. And down the side here, you will see the options that help you set up your form. Now, the first thing we want to do is go and set up our configuration. Okay, so some of this you're not going to have to worry about as you've already set it up, but it gives you a second chance to change your site name and your site description if you want to. As you can also disable your board from here if you wanted to disable it for some reason. Then you can enable account activation. Either you can have no activation, which means they just are a member immediately, you can have the user activate it, which means they will have to get an activation email. Or you can have admin activation, which means you have to actually go in and set everybody to active status. You can have the visual confirmation, which means that they have to enter a code. And if you have any of these turned on, then you, have, you should use that if you want more security. Automatic logins are just what it says, allow users to be automatically logged in if they select that. You can have, allow them to send emails to each other via the board, so you just select what you want that to be. Flood interval is a number of seconds a user must be must wait before they can do another post. This keeps people from spamming your forum. Uh, login attempts, that means it'll disable the account for a period of time and Here's where you set that lock time and for 30 minutes. Post per page. Most of the time these are going to be fine for you, but you can set that as you like it. And then popular threads threshold set to 25 posts. Default style is sub silver, which is the only one it comes with to start with. Override user style, which means users can actually use a different style 
that's available to them if you allow it but we only have the one in here right now again our language and the date format and our time zone gzip compression just uh, compresses your form and pruning will actually take stuff out of your form after it's a certain age then your cookies usually you're not going to want to play with that private messaging whether you want people to be able to PM each other on the board then you can have polls and you can set them up here and if you allow avatars you can have a you can set it to use the gallery that's already included or and you can also enable remote avatars if uh, people want to use them and you can uh, enable uploading if you want people to be able to upload their own and then you give it a file size and a dimension and then this is where it'll store it and this is where it stores the gallery COPA is the Christian Online Privacy Protection Act to in order for children under 13 to register on a site you have to have a mailing address and a fax address and you would put that here here's your admin email and any signature you want in your email and then what server it's going to use if you're not going to use the inbuilt webmail you would put your SMT servers in here well you set up all that the way you want it and you submit here the next thing you're going to want to do is you're actually going to want to go into forum management now this is where you actually set up what your forum looks like now to begin with you can either change these or you can set them up new and what we'll do in this case is we'll just set up new ones so the first one we are going to have is, we'll just call it general discussion. Actually we should create, we don't want to really want to put that in that category, so we're going to create a category first and we'll call it category discussion. So we create the category. and then here we'll put general discussion and create that now this is where you would pick your category that your discussion forum goes in it put it in discussion for us already because we don't want it in the test category where the forum is locked or unlocked and we'll get to that in a bit auto pruning which means of course that it will remove content from the forum after the num after the time period you set here so we're going to leave that as no and here you can put in some description for your forum and we create the forum Okay, now you'll see that our test forum is here. We got our t test category here, which we're automatically set up. Down here we have our discussion and our general discussion. So now let's get rid of these. And there you go. So now we have our data in there and the other stuff has been removed. Now let's say we're going to set up another forum inside the group called discussion and we will call it, or the category called discussion, and we will call it um, discuss the program for instance. And then again, we want it under discussion, which it automatically is going to right now. And you can put your 
your description in here. So let's create that. Now let's create another category called downloads. Okay, so we created that. And we'll create download free products here. premium products here. Okay, now premium downloads are going to be for people that actually pay for the products in our case that we're setting up here. So let's set that as locked because people have to pay to get into there okay so there it is now let's just go and have a look at what our form looks like right now okay and you'll see that there's a little lock sign here that locks this form up to people that are not enabled you can post here because you are of course the admin so you can post inside the form. So let's go back to admin. Now let's go to permissions. Okay. Well, let's that probably was too fast. Let's go back here. This is where you can set up the access permissions to a certain forum. So you download premium products for instance, you click a lookup forum and then you can set your forum to the type of permissions that you want. So we're going to make this private so people will actually be able to see the forum there but they won't be able to get into it. Now you can also go into advance and here it gives you a more advanced view of what you can do. You can allow them to view and read. Okay, so we want to set register or read to private, post to moderator, reply to private, edit, moderator, delete moderator, Sticky moderator, announce moderator, and vote private. Now we have actually updated the permissions for that forum. So if we go back here and look again, this shows us what permissions we have set. This allows us to keep the forum private for anybody except who we want, in this case who has paid us to be a member of that forum. In other words, you can use this bulletin board to set up a simple membership site where people pay you to have access to the content. Okay, enough about permissions. Now let's go down and look at, well first let's register another user. That way we can show you how the process works and how people can be set so that they can access your private content. So let's go and do that.